buses, trucks and taxi drivers attribute the increased road carnage to government failure to bolster efforts geared towards promoting road safety. The General Secretary National Union of Drivers, Cyclists and Allied Workers, Moses Balika says road accidents can be reduced through tripartite responsibility with government. We have had a meeting with the drivers in the country. Those include the bus drivers, truck drivers, uh, border borders, trailers. So we had a meeting with the constant of accidents. Normally the public, you normally say that the drivers are reckless, they are drunkard, they eat grease, whatever, they are reckless. But we have realized that as workers, there are more issues that cause accident. So take an example of a worker working without appointment later. He's an SSF, he's dead, but he's not limited. His salary has taken three months without getting salary. He has gone into a safari either to Kishoro without lunch. And the man is driving you know, on, 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 when he's, he's sick. If somebody makes an accident and the tire gets busted, they make him pay. So we have realized that is very important, which we could solve of between the, uh, together in the three, the, 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 in the property. That is the means of labor, government, employers and workers. The workers say government agencies, including Uganda police and workers, members of parliament, have failed to dialogue with them for a solution to road carnage. Of course, for us, we are the drivers, but we have the sources of these road crashes. And this mainly comes from the employers and, and then the government itself, like the Minister of Works and Transport, which is responsible for regulating and even the members of parliament who are supposed to enact the laws, they are all not doing their responsibility, they are not playing their part. And they have left everything now to the driver. This kind of training is supposed to be Ministry of Transport to train the workers, to train everybody, to train the employers, to train in how people should what? To do handle the what? They, 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 to do drive, to do respect the law today. Even the Minister of Transport was invited, but they didn't attend. Whatever, even the police were supposed to be here. Because you find sometimes people are, 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 are driving, they, 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 they don't even care about the, 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 the workers. So the issue is we are cautioning the ministry take charge, train Ugandan workers on how to use road and how to understand the road safety. State Minister of National Guidance, Honorable Kabianga Godfrey Baluku, has dismissed the driver's allegations. That is not uh, fair uh, to, to, to my government. For us, our work is to pave the roads and to put the safety rules. And uh, you, you yourselves, you break the safety rules and cause what? Accidents. Then again, you blame them on government. I cannot uh, make any take on it because I was not invited. And uh, I cannot speak on behalf of police or Ministry of Works. I don't know why they didn't turn up. But if they had invited me, I would have turned up and represented government. Because I don't see why, why we can't turn up. And So I don't know exactly who they invited. Uh, so next time you see Ministry of Transport or Works and Transport or Police, you can ask them that question. But for us, uh, I, I, and I don't think why, uh, we can't engage with the drivers. They are our partners, and, and therefore, either there was miscommunication or uncoordinated uh, uh, communication. <laughs>
The drivers say government failure to regulate the industry has led to influx of substandard spare parts on the market. However, they recommend implementation of regular vehicle inspections and maintenance checks. 